Okay, so on this week's episode of Catfish, we have Katie, who has been communicating with Mr. MB. They have confessed their love for each other, yet they have still never met each other via in person or on Skype. She has sent him money to start up his modeling career. Although Mr. MB and Katie live on opposite coasts, they've been planning their future wedding for spring 2018. I'm Sarah and I'm one of Katie's best friends and I called Max and Neve because I was very concerned that she was being catfished by Mr. MB. Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I'm dating Mr. MB and we've been talking for six years. I'm madly in love with him and we're planning on getting married in the next year. Um, my friends are pretty concerned the fact that I've never seen him before but I feel like I've known him my whole life and I can't wait to get our life started together. Here's Mr. MB's profile picture on Match.com, and then one of the pictures he sent me. Okay, so we're going to try to set up a meeting time between Katie here and uh, Mr. MB. I'm going to call him right now. Hello, Mr. MB? Hello? Hi, I was hoping, this is uh, Max from Catfish. I was hoping to set up a meeting time between you and Katie. That sounds good. Great. Are you available later, later today to meet at SDSU? Yes, I am. All right. We'll see you then. Okay, bye. Oh Are you excited to see him? Yeah, he sounds so sexy. <laughs> Hi, Mr. MB. So you obviously don't match the profile that Katie saw. Can you please explain this to us? Well, I have severe pyelonephritis and I'm in renal failure and I have diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension and I'm on the list for a kidney transplant and that's why I didn't really tell you who I was. Wow. So Katie, what was your first impression of Mr. MB? Um, I was pretty shocked. He's overweight. He has swelling of the ankles, uh, really weak legs, and he's easily fatigued. Do you know anything about renal failure? Um, I was just looking it up on my phone, actually, because I wanted to get a better understanding. Apparently, there are currently over 1.4 million patients that receive renal uh, replacement therapy, and then more than 661,000 Americans that have kidney failure, and about 450 of those receive daily uh, dialysis treatments. So, over 93,000 people are on the kidney transplant list right now. So how are you being treated for this? So I currently receive dialysis three times a week to purify my blood since my kidneys are only at 10% function. I take proglitazone for my obesity and ianidine for my reduced kidney function. So what am I supposed to tell my mom about this? Just tell her that my kidneys don't work like they should and so I need a new one. Need kidney transplant to win Katie's heart over to be continued.